Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with the video, basic video on GNU Radio Companion. Uh, we're going to continue our series on GNU Radio Companion tutorials. And this tutorial is all going to be about noise and how noise is related to what we are calling a jamming. I've made several videos on it using different hardware platforms. And I think my previous video or two videos before that was also on jamming. Uh, so we're going to introduce that noise term and we're going to introduce something called additive white Gaussian noise. So when we are trying to simulate these channels, uh, uh, the noise is a very important factor. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you the effect of that noise factor in our actual signal. So the flow graph is quite simple as you can clearly see. As you can clearly see, I have a signal source and a noise source both of them being added together using an add block. I need a throttle block because I'm running simulation. I can just also remove this, disable this as well because I have my hardware connected, which is actually my audio sync. So this is actually depicting the audio sync of uh, my the speaker of my laptop. Then I have my time sync and I have my frequency sync. Let's look at the property of my signal source. So my signal source, um, let me go to general, is being controlled by three variables. So first one is waveform one, second one is your frequency component, and third one is your amplitude. Uh, they are all being controlled by something called Q uh, QT GUI range uh, amplitude. Um, so let, this amp block, is uh, this amp amplitude of my signal is being controlled by this GUI block that has a default frequency of 10, uh, sorry amplitude of 10 and is going from 0 to 100. Then my frequency is being controlled by this free block. Uh, so I have a default frequency of 1000 kilohertz and it's going from minus 500 kilohertz all the way up to 500 kilohertz. That's why I have chosen a sample rate of one mega samples. You can choose it anything you want. Uh, then the second thing, uh, the waveform. So you have different waveforms because I would like to control that these uh, waveforms using a chooser block, which is being which is being used here. So I'm just calling it waveform one. So I'll be able to select sine, cosine, square, triangular wave, and sawtooth wave. So that is being done through QT GUI chooser block. So I have five different options. First one is you can choose any number 101 for sinusoidal, 102 for cosinusoidal, 103 for rectangular, 104, and 105. My default is my cosinusoidal wave, which is 102. So that is being controlled using chooser block, my waveforms. Second is my Gaussian noise source. You can choose this to be either uniform, Gaussian, Laplacian, or impulse. I'm choosing Gaussian noise to show you the effect of additive white Gaussian noise. And the amplitude of my Gaussian noise is being controlled by a QT GUI range block, which is called noise voltage. So the default value is 1 is going from 0 all the way up to 100. Everything is uh, simple, so let's just let me run this flow graph and show you uh, what does how does this flow graph sound like. All right. So this is how a one kilohertz sound wave, cosine sort of wave, sound like. You can choose this to be sine. Not much of a difference. You can use it as a rectangular wave at 1 kilohertz. So this is how a rectangular wave sound like. It's much pitchier uh, because you have a lot of these uh, harmonics because it's made up of a lot of these harmonics. And let me just increase this frequency a little bit. All right, then you can choose a triangular wave. This is how a triangular wave sound like. doesn't have much harmonics. And this is how a sawtooth sinus or uh, sawtooth wave sounds like at 1.3 kilohertz you can increase the amplitude oh man all right now let me just decrease this amplitude to be one kilohertz and now we're going to start introducing noise to our signal so there's no noise so basically the idea behind uh jamming or added in white Gaussian is because your channel, which is actually your wireless channel, it, it actually 
uh, shrinks down your amplitude or it actually attenuates your amplitude as these waves travel. So we're going to depict that using a noise source which is a Gaussian noise source. So by simply starting using the amplitude you will start hearing that hissing sound and you will start seeing the distortion in the amplitude. So let me just quickly make this more much stable uh, by just playing around with the frequency. All right, so now when I start, let me just, so this is how a 3800, 3.8 kilohertz signal sounds like. So when I start increasing noise, you will start seeing distortion in my signal. All right, then, then you start hearing more distortion, even though, then you start hearing this, this, this noise that is actually trying to distort my signal but as you can clearly see here you can still see those spikes which means my noise power must be much should be much greater because I can still hear that sound so let's try to increase that noise level as possible so I won't be able to hear that sound and right now I can barely hear anything because I can clearly see here there's nothing going on by increasing your noise power you have basically diminishes that sound right now you cannot hear it clearly that what was actually being transmitted so this is how jamming works and this is what it does to a wireless signal when you're trying to transmit that signal in air because the, the the channel which is actually a wireless channel of course noise is one factor there are a lot of other factors as well you have fading effect and all the other effect but one of the prominent thing that we get is actually noise which can also be generated from the electronic component which is there either in your transmitter or in your receiver so that's the basic idea behind this tutorial is just to introduce you to something called noise which is the enemy of your signal so i hope you like the small tutorial on this if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel